is why you don't lose your badge, Shedrick. Otherwise, you send it to space. For those of you who have not had the opportunity to earn your shield, this is a great opportunity uh, for you to realize the rules and requirements around your shield. Uh, requirement number one being that you have your shield on you absolutely at all times, 100%. A lot of people don't realize this, but the Geek Squad shield has a personality of its own. So like, if you're not watching it, if, it's, if you're not careful, it will literally get up and walk away from your desk. Well, there's been a handful of agents that have uh, misplaced their badges over the years. and where We've uh, sent both Agent Corrales and Agent Kidwell's badge to the corners of the earth. Um, so it could take lovely photos with other Geek Squad agents around the world. Very often uh, the badges will um, set up a Facebook page or a Twitter profile in order to post pictures of themselves uh, as they are making their way around the globe. So. Well, we are going to be inducting Agent Shedrick into the order of the traveling badge. Shedrick is a uh, relatively new member uh, to the Magic Castle on the GeekSquad.com team and he thought that what a lot of us did to kind of show respect for the badge is to have it displayed uh, in our cubes. Uh, what he didn't realize is that those are our older badges, or ones that we uh, had previous held, um, obviously for previous uh, positions. Uh, we had to one-up ourselves this time because we've done the send around the world thing twice now, so we're going to send it up into the stratosphere instead. Uh, around the time that Shedrick lost his badge was when uh, Red Bull had, uh, was launching their Stratos project where they were sending, uh, uh, doing the highest free fall jump uh, from a near space weather balloon and as we were watching that we were like, oh that's pretty cool. So we thought, boy it sure would be uh, pretty neat to send that badge to space. Uh, and then the more we started thinking about it and looking into it, we realized, uh, yeah, we could send this badge to space. Uh, at the time of launch, Shedrick will know that it's taking off and he'll be able to track it and uh, that's how he's actually going to end up finding his badge. Uh, and we'll be able to share this with all agents uh, across the globe to see this, this awesome event. I think the agents are going to think it is very cool. Shedrick, I don't, it seems he's been kind of wishing for this on the forum, so it's the, uh, the popular option. Hopefully we've misdirected enough that they, uh, they'll be a little surprised when it actually happens. I think I'm a little bit jealous that the badge gets to go to space and I don't. Uh, and Shedrick, uh, he's going to go down in history as having the first uh, and maybe even only uh, badge to actually go to space. For about the past month or so we've been doing the planning, um, trying to create a safe vehicle so the badge won't get lost. There's a, there's a fair amount of planning that goes into a near space launch. So uh, industrial grade helium and a, a professional grade weather balloon um, will get us up that height. And need to consider wind patterns at altitude, uh, flight paths for airplanes, launch site, potential recovery site, um, proximity to large bodies of water around the, uh, the recovery site. I've always just been kind of a tinker. Every time I come across a stupid project, uh, arcade cabinets, things like that, I've always got to build one. So launching something into space is actually something I've been wanting to do for a while. Just used a nice styrofoam cooler I found in the fishing fishing section at the local hardware store. And then uh, just a lot of aluminum bits and bobs to make a nice gantry that'll hold the badge secure. Um, and it also mounts the two GoPro cameras so that we have a nice steady shot. We're going to start fairly early. We're looking at an 8 a.m. get-together. We're going to have a few hours worth of helium balloon filling. Um, balloon should reach a size of about 12 feet in diameter when we're done. So right now we're using two GoPro HD cameras um, and we're using a spot tracking device that uses satellite and GPS to upload its coordinates about every five seconds or so. So we'll get a live feed of where the badge is and uh, hopefully be able to recover it fairly quickly.
Icarus One is in route. Doing the the chase, the, the day of the, sh of the of the event was a blast. I expect a lot of waiting. It's going to be about three hours on the way up to the atmosphere, and then once the balloon pops, about an hour to two hours before it finally lands. But it's going to going to take us a few hours worth of driving for recovery. Uh, we met up with Shedrick uh, in Wisconsin, which was kind of awesome. So I had plans already. I was, was going to go out on a date, honestly. I had a, had a lunch date plan. Um, pretty much Ben sends me a text and says, Hey, uh, cancel everything you're doing because you're coming to, uh, to chase down something very, very special. And you, you may get your badge back. We don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. So we met up with him at a McDonald's. Uh, and then we kind of created a little caravan and drove out to Wisconsin. And Recovery was interesting. Um, turns out we didn't time things quite right because we did get there after dark, which sucked. Oh, the darkness. We're trying to find the, the owner of the, the property because we don't just want to go on there and, you know, be uh, trespassing. And So we go and we find the guy um, and we tell him our story. Like, hey, uh, luckily the guy was nice enough to, to show us exactly where. We showed him the GPS location. He said, oh, I know exactly where that's at. If he didn't, we would have died. We went out there with, with one spot flashlight, uh, which died maybe what, 10, 15 minutes in. Uh, it was icy and we were just cutting through trees and weeds and yeah. all kinds of stuff. Um, and so we knew we were within a half mile of it, but it was out in the middle of a field. We all kind of lined oh, up right and there. walked it's straight right and that led us over to right where it was. And um, sure enough, it was like 30 feet above me in a tree. Yeah. That was the, 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 the aha moment. It's like, man, this long, arduous journey has finally come to a close, and, and I finally see it dangling in front of a tree out of my reach. I was like, I still can't get it so close, but so far away. Uh, we ended up tying a rope around a log and hooking the capsule and, and pulling it down to the point where the branches bent down and we grabbed it, and then we were eventually able to pull the whole, uh, the whole thing down. So. Look, Shedrick, your badge came back from space. <laughs> so beautiful. Are you going to give it a chest? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Now we just got to find our way out of here. All right. Uh, I'm not going to confirm nor deny, but, you know, I, I, I do love my badge. It will stay with me at all times now. <laughs> I will never make that mistake again. Reunited and it feels so good. That's, 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 <laughs> much, that's creepy. That sums it up. You know, I can't, can't put any of the words. It's pretty amazing and miraculous how everything turned out. It, on your average agent, I think it really drives home the culture. Like, this is what Geek Squad is. Well, the, the subculture of, of agents is, is uh, fairly complex. But at, at, at our heart, our core, um, all of us are, are still kind of driven by the same thing. Um, you know, fascination with technology and, and interesting type uh, 
type of things, science and all that type of stuff. Most of them love Star Wars, Star Trek, and anything with space. So you say that we sent a badge to space is the freaking most amazing thing ever created, right? Uh, so it was, it was cool and it was fun. It was extremely risky, um, but we knew that if we did pull it off, like this is the culture project beyond all culture projects. Like it really drives home the fact that this is your badge. This is this is you as an agent. This represents everything that you are to Geek Squad, um, and you never never want to go anywhere without it. We like to dig in and get things done and learn new things because we feel proud about accomplishing those things. Uh, when agents put their mind to it, we can do anything. Um, I, I completely believe that we we work for like the greatest technology company ever. Uh, for for us to do something like this and actually make it happen and then broadcast it and show everyone else, it's fantastic. Uh, always treasure your badge. Never lose it. Never leave it. Never lend it to anybody. Um, always know where it is at all times. Um, enjoy the work that you do. You know we're Geek Squad agents. We're here to have fun and we're here to make people's lives better on a daily basis. So never forget that and uh, always always have fun. And I think this project really helps demonstrate that your badge is your soul. Like that's, that's so awesome. I'm like honored. Like I, I can't I can't believe I'm the first agent in space. Like you know, I'm a complete noob for losing my badge, but it's the greatest thing that's happened. <laughs> Honestly.